Now save me. Get the letter. Read the letter. Let's talk about this week. Are y'all ready? I thought, oi, okay. I thought I wanted an open marriage, but I have since changed my mind. Before my wife and I got married two years ago, I told her, I told her that I wanted to have an open marriage where we could get a free pass to have sex with someone else if we are honest about who the person is and a few other rules such as it can't be any of our friends and we cannot bring anyone into our home. My wife was very uncomfortable with it, but she eventually agreed. I have stepped out to have some fun maybe a handful of times and I told her about it. It seemed to affect her mentally at first, but not anymore. She finally revealed to me that she's having some fun of her own nowadays, and it is with a man from her past life, someone who never really got over her. I don't like it, and it is affecting my erections with her now. She doesn't... <laughs> she, wait, y'all. She doesn't Damn. even seem that into me anymore. She explained that she never wanted this type of arrangement, but since I played it out during our first two years of marriage, she's decided to do the same, and now she is loving it. She is back to singing around the house. She cooks me nice meals, and she is being an amazing woman. <laughs> but I have decided that I don't want this arrangement anymore. I just want my wife to have sex with me and only me, and I am finally willing to do the same. She is more than enough for me. Stan, how do I fix this mess that I've made? Yeah, you done mess it up a little bit, bro. So, so Oh, my goodness. I, so be careful what you ask for. That's the first thing. That's the same thing happened last week. They jumped out this stuff. Oh, that my God. The you got to be yeah, talking them. about how freaky you want it. So let's address this. This is a lot. This is, it's not really a lot, though. Um, so <laughs> once you set rules and you step out there, then you signed up for it. Like you literally signed up for it. And so it's normally not cool when the wifey or the girlfriend play it out on the same level that you play it out. Because we, as men, we have a different perspective on it. We put our women high up on the pedestal. We don't expect a man to be able to get a ladder tall enough to get his ass up there. Like, we just think they that high. So if a man is <laughs> don't have to climb up there because you're bringing your ass down off the ladder, then it make us feel a way. So I think that he wasn't ready for her to play the game. I thought he thought he was going to be playing the game. But now that she's entered the game, I think she found a worthy opponent to play with. And I don't know that he's satisfied with the way they playing because she's singing, but it ain't on his behalf. She dancing, but it ain't on his behalf. Right. She cooking, but it ain't on his behalf. It's just to curve him to get back over there to the D. Like she getting smashed off real good and he going, but see, it's early and new for them. So he all in the honeymoon stage with her over there. Hubby already done did all that. And now he looking for a new opponent to have this arena and this whole you know, uh-huh. match that they having. And he didn't find a worthy opponent she found. <laughs> He found a couple of thoughts right. in there. He said but he, he had some found fun. He wanted to go get it all the right. way in with. He she had found fun. somebody who wasn't just starting with her, that they really was putting something down with her and was going the extra mile. So she got a little bit more emotionally attached from what I'm seeing. Right. And so I don't know. You might lose her um, if you don't hurry and get off this arena right here. Or even you're going to learn how to put, I, a little, put a little extra emphasis on what you're doing or either just not play that game. I, I don't know if it's a fair game to play when you're married. I don't know that that's, that's going to be. You have to be really. Uh, what I call secure with yourself in order to sign up for them type of games. You really do. And I get it why you can't have no erection. I understand exactly what's going on. You thinking about her bending over and busting it open for Slim, and your mind's screwed. You can't even focus <laughs> can't on her. When focus. you see her, you don't even see her. You see dudes slamming on the bed and doing some stuff that you ain't even did yet. She on the wall. She <laughs> doing it. You hear me? Buck. And so, yeah, Why you man. you got to say all of that? I'm just trying to drive it home to you. Dang. So what I'm trying to say is... Don't sign up for something that you can't handle. Always understand. My wife told me this a long time ago when I met her. She crazy, so this is what she said. <laughs> what I say, baby? Uh, I never forgot this even. She say, just remember, if you out there getting it sucked and you doing this and that, just remember, picture if I'm doing the same thing you doing. That's right. I like, say why that. You, why you say that? Like, what? Because I want you, you to, to envision it. When she's sucking it, I want you to envision. What if my wife is doing Okay, I this? heard you. That's what I'm saying. And so okay. <laughs> that right there, I was like, I ain't never heard no woman say this before because they not as wild as Terry. I keep it 1,000. But Terry, she do keep it too much 1,000. And so when she <laughs> said that, I was like, what the hell are you bringing that up? all that up for? We ain't get married yet. And so she was giving me the warning that don't ask for something that you don't want to really sign up for. And so, young man, you signed up for it, and unfortunately, she likes the game that you introduced her to. So you might want to get her out of it real quick before she play all the way to the ninth inning. Because she's like in the second inning right now. It's a lot more. Yeah. So. 
Get her out the game. Get her back over there and do some of the stuff that you might think he's doing. I'm going to say in it. from a, a, a woman perspective, Stan is exactly right. And I'm also going to say something to what you said. Do not invite that kind of stuff into your marriage if you're not able to really play it out. Playing it out is not when you do your part. Playing it out fully is when she does her part and comes to tell you that she's doing it just like you told her. Yeah, I, I went and slept with Kim the other night. I just let you know. Now she's let you know and you can't handle it. I, I, I understand why you can't handle it. I wouldn't be able to handle it. I'm really emotional. And if he told me anything like that, I, the box would not work for him. It just wouldn't. So what if, what if, what if he would have switched it up and just brought someone into their situation and they were both aware of it? That don't get the dude in it. Don't leave. Don't bring the guy. That's that's a no. Don't but that would have been her request. He he said, "I want to sleep with other people," and she said, "All right, I don't really want to do that." That's what he said in the beginning. He said she was uncomfortable with it in the beginning, but it was his thing. And he's like, "I want to step out sometimes." But so it's I said, his thing. Yeah. yeah, he's like, "But I still want to be married to you." And people do that. I don't like it. I just think that marriage is sacred, and I feel. I mean. I'm just different I now. say it's an individual sport. Every marriage looks different. Every marriage should be be fitting for who married. Like, me and your marriage shouldn't look like marriage in general. It's, right. It's our marriage. Well, it's befitting so for my marriage out here to, have different to not have situations. that. Um, and so that's what it is. Let's, let's go. Do, does anybody feeling. have any comment on this? What do you guys think about anybody that? Do you think have that's a, a good situation, bad situation? Um, I would say. An open marriage. An open marriage. Can you handle like it? being single and you just pretty much doing what you want, but you have this person that you say you committed to so then what's okay real quick before we give it turn it over what is the point you all of getting married if not for the sacredness of it and being like it's going to be me and you why not just don't get married because everybody like I said everybody don't look at marriage the same and so some people that's a befitting situation for them and they okay with it some men agree with her sliding off and said i'm ready to go do my thing and they okay with that and they go do their thing and then they link up later some people can't be married unless they have that type of outfit. They can't be monogamous, so to speak. They're not interested in that. And yeah. so for those people, those things, we got to do what works for you. But make sure it works for you, though. It can't work against you. Don't set yourself up for failure. Like, if you know you can't handle that, then you can't sign up for it. Right. And I know I can't handle it, so that's why I got the the, the paddles and the the stuff to swing on the door, that kind of stuff, because I got to think of some other things. And I, I think, know I, I can't think, handle that. I think that that's a good thing. You should role play. You should do... Make but, but wives don't be dry. Be a freak for your husband. Go wild. Don't stop. Bust it loose. Get wild. Do spins. Take classes. Pole dancing. When you marry, I believe all of that. You're supposed to do it all. If your, you don't, if, if, if you have a bunch of withdrawals and I ain't doing this and I ain't doing that, it's way too many sisters out here that's gonna be tugging on him. Like he got to go out your house every day and, and, and apply itself to the society. And, it, and he not blind because he married. Please be clear. And so make sure you cover yourself and then, you know, be walk around naked sometimes and do some crazy. Be freaky. Come hey, to the door with, a, with a, 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 a jacket on with nothing under. Do all this kind of stuff. Yes. You know, be a freak. Yes. Go get snacks in the freak. kitchen naked. Yeah, be don't like, be... I'm coming to get a snack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then be a snack. Be a... <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope that our answers helped you. I, again, my position on it is don't invite that type of stuff into your marriage. I, I mean, that's just the way I feel about Unless it. Unless you can handle what you signed up for. And always have rules. Whatever Men you decide, usually can't handle what rules. they dish out. They usually can. Well, we and like can. you said, because y'all yeah. look at us differently, and that's the biggest double standard in relationships ever. And now I'm, I'm a grown woman, and I understand that double standard, and I accept it. I understand that we as women, we cannot be as loosey-goosey with our stuff as men are with theirs, right? They shouldn't be, but we definitely can't be that way. So I look at that differently now. We are different. We are held to a different standard. And I'm okay. Most with definitely. It. And, it, and it goes both ways. But yes, I agree with you, though. And I think that we all should hold ourselves to a certain standard. This is the way it is. All right. Well, we got, a, we got an amazing guest who's been very patient and waiting for us. So 